I seriously cannot imagine myself being in Henry Roth's place. Making a woman fall in love with you every single day for the rest of your life because she has short-term memory loss and she's not going to remember the next day that she fell in love with you. Henry Roth, you have my respect because that's something I can't do. I, <laughs> I just can't. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review 50 First Dates. So 50 First Dates is directed by Peter Siegel and the film does star Adam Sandler, Drew Barrymore, Rob Schneider, Blake Clark, and Sean Astin. So 50 First Dates tells the story of Henry Roth who is a ladies man he's been going out with a lot of ladies but then when the time comes for him to be in a more serious relationship he dumps those ladies immediately and then he met drew barrymore she's actually the first girl he's willing to have a serious commitment with until he actually found out that drew barrymore actually has short-term memory loss and so because of that he has to make her fall in love with him every single day because by the next day she's not going to remember meeting him. Now before I review 50 First Dates, my guest star Justin Watches Movies is going to be reviewing this movie. So Justin, take it away. Hey everybody, Justin Watches Movies here. Thank you 22 Tiger Dude for allowing me on your channel to discuss. 50 First Dates. I have vivid memories of watching 50 First Dates. This came out when I was in 5th or 6th grade and at that time Adam Sandler was really big to me. I loved watching Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, Big Daddy, movies like those. And so they came in the prime time when I was really into Adam Sandler. And to this day I still really enjoy 50 First Dates. One thing I enjoy about this movie is that it's lighthearted, it knows what it wants to be, and it's a very charming movie. Adam Sandler is after Drew Barrymore constantly and he has to deal with the fact that she loses her memory after one day so she doesn't even know who he is. But he still manages to fall in love with her and love her more each day. And so I really like that this movie captured true love at its finest and you know it was still managed to be very charming even though that the characters were dorky and the storyline was cheesy and Adam Sandler does not know how to cry whatsoever, this movie still managed to capture what love really is. Some of the jokes in here are natural and spot on and really hilarious. Then there's a lot of jokes that seemed really forced. One character I really loved in here was Rob Schneider who was a ridiculous native to the land and he was just, it was so funny. I remember the one line at the end, always, always laughing at this one line at the end when he, uh, Adam Sandler is about to sail off and he hugs him and he says something really, really sweet in a different language and then Adam Sandler asks him what that means and he says, bring me back a t-shirt. I don't know, just growing up that joke was so hilarious to me. Even though Fifty First Dates is cheesy and the characters aren't the best, I still loved this movie. It managed to make me laugh and look at love in a different way that's not typical to like the Hollywood formula and still managed to pull off what true love is. For that, I found it to be very charming, hilarious, and overall a good time. So I'm going to go ahead and give Fifty First Dates a B+. Thank you 22 Tiger Dude for allowing me to be on your channel to discuss Fifty First Dates. One of my you know, better favorite Adam Sandler movies. It's not his best, but it's definitely not his worst ever. So 22 Tiger Dude has it, and you know, Just Watch Movies has it as well, and that is Tiger Power! Thank you so much, Justin, for reviewing Fifty First Dates. Fifty First Dates, in my opinion, is a very funny, but also a very delightful rom-com. I think this movie is pretty dang terrific. Yes, it does have your usual Adam Sandler humor. It's definitely there, but 
This film has more than just your usual Adam Sandler humor. There's actually a lot of heart into this film. I actually thought the writing to this film was really dang impressive and it's written by George Wing, who hasn't really read it much, but I actually thought he did a very great job of writing the script for this film, adding not only a lot of funny moments to it, because there's a lot of times where I'm laughing, but it's also got depth to it, considering this is an Adam Sandler movie, in which I actually like Adam Sandler a lot, compared to most people, I actually do really like him, and this movie is definitely one of the prime examples of why I really liked him, because Adam Sandler is so good good in this role. Drew Barrymore is also fantastic here. She's very convincing as this woman that has short-term memory loss. Thanks to Drew Barrymore, I really felt connected to her character. I really cared about her character. And Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore, to no surprise, have terrific chemistry. they shown in movies like The Wedding Singer and of course Blended, their third collaboration. They have shown in all three of these films that they have such great chemistry. Blake Clark is terrific here as Drew Barrymore's father. You could actually see where he's coming from because he wants to protect Drew Barrymore. He doesn't want her to get hurt. Same with Drew Barrymore's brother played by Sean Astin who has the lisp and I thought he did a really good job as well. I really enjoyed Sean Astin and Rob Schneider. I can't forget to mention him. I could definitely see why maybe some people would get offended by his character because his character is supposed to portray some kind of race but to me I wasn't offended by Rob Schneider's character here I actually thought he was very funny he steals almost every single scene he is in Dan Aykroyd even shows up for a small appearance in 50 first dates which I also really liked he plays Drew Barrymore's doctor and even though he had a small part it was still just so much fun to see Dan Aykroyd here and Peter Segal to his credit did a great job directing 50 first dates and not for nothing but this film is is actually very good looking. The cinematography is so beautifully shot. The shots of Hawaii, because this film does take place in Hawaii, it looks beautiful. It's just so relaxing because Hawaii is a relaxing island after all. So when you get to look at the shots of Hawaii, I can't help but be relaxed sometimes watching Fifty First Dates. And I did really like how the film ended. I thought the ending was very sweet. It was very satisfying. Sure, it is a predictable ending, but I thought for where they were going with the story, I think the ending definitely worked. I really do think Fifty First Dates is such a beautiful movie because it really does show the power of true love. How true love really does conquer all. Whether you're in the good times, bad times, it really does conquer all because Drew Barrymore is dealing with something very difficult in her life with this movie as this character is dealing with short-term memory loss and Adam Sandler no matter the fact that he has to make her fall in love with him every single day and try to get her memories going he's not willing to leave her. Seeing Adam Sandler's character change from being this womanizer to someone that actually does want to be in a serious relationship. I thought that was a very impressive way to show some character growth right there. Now the only problems I will say I have with Fifty First Dates is that just once in a while the humor does come off as forced and that's where it leads to my next problem is the character Alexa who is the assistant of Henry Roth because Henry Roth works as a veterinarian at the Sea Life Park. This Alexa character I didn't really find her that funny. Luckily, she's not really in the film that much, but whenever she does show up, I wasn't really laughing. I will say there is definitely a very funny joke regarding her when Adam Sandler isn't quite sure if Alexa is a man or a woman. I will say that running gag towards her is funny, but the character herself, whenever she popped up and said something, I just wasn't really laughing with her. And then there is a projectile vomiting scene with the walrus towards the beginning of the film and I could have done without that. And then I will say the third act does come off as a little rushed but overall you guys I honestly think Fifty First Dates is such a charming and very funny movie. It's a movie that has your usual Adam Sandler humor which did work for me a lot with this movie 
but it's also a movie that actually has quite a bit of depth to it. It's just an absolutely great rom-com. I loved almost every moment of 50 First Dates. This film really is such a joy to watch and I'm gonna give it three and a half out of four stars, which on a letter grade would be like a B plus. This is a film that I just think is so charming. So you guys in the comments down below, let me know what did you think about 50 First Dates? And I would also love to thank Justin Watches Movies for coming here to review 50 First Dates. If you guys want to check out his channel, I will leave a link in the description down below. This is Twain to Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!